Hey guys, this is Assassin Parks and I'm going to be doing um, video 3 for my newbie tutorial guide. And we're going to be covering macros today. I use Auto Hotkey. So go ahead and Google that and click download. And then you just download this blue button. All right. And you, you know I mean, you know what I meant. You just click on it to download the installer and yada yada. And I'll let you guys do that on your own. Once you guys have that done, you'll actually have to follow my um, download link for this for this small little file. It'll only be like three kilobytes or something like that. I'll leave the link in the description under my video. Um, so once you have it, just drag it onto your desktop because you're going to be using it whenever you start the game. And you just double click it to run it or you could run as admin. So run as administrator and then right click it to edit it comes into your little system tray down here. Um, this first part basically you're just gonna leave it alone. What it does is once you're in game you could actually type and it won't mess up. A lot if you don't have that first section this highlighted section and you start to type it's gonna mess up your chat. It's just not gonna work. You're not gonna be typing what you want to type. Alright and then these are my macro keys and there are only a few um, but that's it's very basic for the new guy and that's because we're gonna be getting a new GUI system in the game alright so we're basically macros are gonna become obsolete mostly some people still have them um, for other things alright so I'll show you what my macros actually do so every time I press Q it'll pull out my staff and also it will go to hop R3 and that's my those are the spells I'll be using mostly as a destroyer. And then if I press E, it'll pull out my two-hander and it'll take me to my two-handed uh, sword skills. And the reason why I have knockback separated from the other two, I have the two um, left blank, is because I'm only going to be using this every once in a great while. And I'm mostly going to be using three and four, my whirlwind and power attack. So I have those where I could reach to them very easily. And then my bow is not on my macro. And the reason is because you only have one bow skill, and that's disabling shot. But what I do have on macro is the disabling shot. So whatever key you're on, doesn't matter, and you press middle mouse button for me, is my bow to pull it out. So I could be on any hop bar, and then I could press, I could pull my mouse wheel back towards me, and it'll, it'll auto select disabling shot. All right. And then if I have my two-handed weapon out and I pull my mouse wheel back, it'll select disabling blow. And those are very important in this game. Um, if someone's parrying, you're going to want to disable them. So that's why I have a hotkey for them. And then if you have your staff out and you push your mouse wheel forward, it's going to auto-select a ray. As a destroyer, you only have one ray, so it makes it very easy for my macro. Um, a lot of new guys will probably be learning how to be probably destroyers, because uh, once the game comes out, everybody has to start, you know, with low skills, and you're going to get destroyer skills first before you get into the heavy mage stuff. So a lot of people will be rolling as destroyers at first. Um, so remember, so mouse wheel back is my disablings and mouse wheel forward is my ray. Rays are very important, they're instant cast spells and so if someone turns their back to you just shoot them really quick with that. Alright, um, what else does my macro do? Oh okay, so my macro also pulls out my shield. So in game I have I have my my one-hander auto it's bound to control Y, which is a mouse key for me on one of my mouse keys. Um, so every time I press that, it'll auto pull out my shield as well. Um, and that's my macro pulling out my shield. I'm not pulling it out, my macro is doing that. And how my macro is doing that is I have my shield, so it's in COM05, so COM05, and I changed it to numpad 9. And so we'll get into this now. So here's my control Y. That's my mouse key that I used to pull out my one-hander and shield. And then numpad 9 uh, pulls out the shield, all right? 
So we have to have these matching. Always have them matching. And so control Y right there. And let's say you don't like my let's say you don't like my two-handed and staff pullouts. So E and Q. Um, just change the E or the Q to a key that you prefer. So if you prefer like T or F or something, you could just change those. But they also have to match in game, okay? So in your in your GUI settings, they have to match. So remember that. Leave these first two symbols alone. Just leave them alone. They help your macro run smoothly. Um, if you don't like your middle mouse button for bow, you could change that in game also. Like I said, I don't have it in my macro. And then, so these are the disabling blows and disabling shots. So these are very important. So in game, I would go to column seven, hotbar seven, row two and three. So let's just find it really quick so I can show you guys. Seven, two and three, so I period and comma. And look, that matches right here, period and comma. All right, and then single ray, that's wheel up. I use this, this key. And so it's also going to be right in here, backslash, all right? Uh, what I did just see in my macro is every time I press W, I'm auto sprinting, all right? And how you do that is you go into your bindings, go to movement, and you're going to want to double click this, and you're going to want to change sh uh, sprint, I um, mean shift, left shift, to F12. So double click it and press F12 and click apply. And so every time you press W, you'll be auto sprinting. You don't ever have to press shift again. Okay. Let's see what else I have on my macro. So I just have my, my two handed melee, my staff, my disabling blow, my single ray, my one hand and shield and my sprint. So it's very simple. But what I like about yeah. it is, um, you could basically play the game as it's meant to be, but with a little extra help. All right. So every time I press my Q, what it's doing is, is in game my my bindings is Q for my staff. So GUI my Q is my staff right here, um, and then it's sending F3. Now F3 is column three. So right here is column three is F3. Column four is F4. So this is F4, this is F5, F6, yada, 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 so on. So just remember, um, just remember you have to change all this stuff in game to match the macro or vice versa. All right. All right, guys, so I wanted to go over this really quick. So if you want to change your keys, like if you don't like my E to pull out your two handed melee weapon or Q to pull out your staff, you could change those in the macro and you also have to change them in game like I said earlier but how you would go about that let's say you like shift Q so this one equals shift the symbol this symbol equals alt and this symbol equals control so let's say you want shift Q alright so we would just add a plus sign in front of that or and let's say you want Alt E, so we would add an exclamation point in front of that, and that's how you would do that. You would you would click save, so we'll click file save, and then you go down here. Okay, so I don't have it running, so we ha let, we have it running right now, and I'll show you that in just a second. So let's go back into edit the script, and now this will work for you guys it's the way we just did it. But let's say we want to change it back to how I had it before we can just click file save and then we can click reload the script and it'll work for you in game every time you edit this you're gonna have to reload the script you could either exit out and then double click it again to start it up or you could just click the reload script like I just did alright this is very important though you guys need to know that or you'll be in game and be like why isn't my new macro working All right. Um, and you could change these letters too. You could change them to T or F or whatever you like. Um, control I, whatever. Um, all right. So I wanted to show you guys that really quick and let's get back to the video. All right. Before I end this video, what I want to talk to you about is what spells to bind. So all your, all your heal self spells, 
you're gonna want all these in this in, that I have heal self which is brew and then your three transfers you're gonna want all those bound to hotkeys so find whatever hotkeys you want and go to input bindings your GY and just just choose which ones you want to do and get used to them alright um, now the reason why my macro is so simple so I'll show you really quick so I could press my forward and back mouse buttons to go through my hot bars all right so every time I press let's say for example my staff button Q it's gonna auto take me to my spells that I'll probably be, be using the most now I could press back on my mouse button and it's gonna take me to heal other spells heal other spells are gonna be very important in this game you're gonna to want to keep your buddies up and I have a heal mount there also all right and so let's let's press Q again it's gonna take us back to hot bar 3 all right so now let's push forward instead of back so now that we're on hot bar 4 and look we're at our begones these are very important as well these are gonna be your getaway spells all right so you're always going to be using these a lot to bunny hop. And then this is obviously confusion, you're going to be using that a lot. Um, melee. Melee, you don't got to go back and forth really if you don't want to. Um, but you can. So let's see. So melee. And then I push up once. And let's say you don't want to do mouse wheel back. You could just auto select three and Whoa. disable someone. All right. Okay. So, we got that. Let's go back to staff and we press up two times on our, our uh, mouse side button. So, and now we got launch. This helps you get over city walls. You start a wall and then get up. And telekinesis, this is another way to get up higher. And you can launch into that. Alright, but I'm just kind of showing you how you could access your whole hot bar pretty easily and what we're going to want to do we're probably going to want to have uh, potions and food and that's basically I use hotkeys most people use hotkeys so you're also just like your heal spells and column one you could probably actually put your food and then your three potions or four potions or whatever and you're going to want to bind those to hotkeys as well. Um, I have a lot of mouse buttons, so I just I just bind my uh, potions in the GUI, input bindings GUI. I just bind them. I find where they're at. So they're being column one and then six through nine or six through nine and then zero. Um, so I would just find hotkeys for them. So I'll just do that right now. Let's say I'm going to put my health potion here, my stamina potion there and my mana potion there and then my food I will put it somewhere off over here on my keyboard all right so I just made all these hotkeys really fast and really easy and now all I have to do is buy some food and potions and throw them in these slots and I'm good to go all right so keep that in mind also your mount I have a mount right there. Someone stole it in my newbie city. I let them keep it. Uh, basically, you're just going to drag your mount over there and you're going to find a hotkey like we just did for the potions. Alright guys, so have fun. Um, if you need help with the macro, let me know. If you have any other suggestions that you want me to cover, go ahead and ask them in the comments and we can do those as well.